welcome to uh, uh, this session. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Mohammed Akbar Hussein, who's going to tell us about mud volcanism on Earth and how it can help us learn about water on Mars. Uh, Mohammed? I thank you for yours. having us on board. So um, I'll share the screen. All right. Um, <clears throat> good morning from Australia. Uh, thank you for giving us an opportunity to, um, uh, to share our work on investigating possible surface liquid water activity on Mars using evidence from terrestrial mud volcano analogs. Uh, I'm Dr. Muhammad Akbar Hussain, um, and uh, with my co-presenter, uh, Muhammad Mehdi Hussain, who is the uh, lead investigator of this project. Uh, we both are co-founders of um, Marie Dynamics, um, aerospace engineering startup company to develop engineering, innovative engineering solutions for human habitation on Mars. So Mars, dry, desolate, dead. This has been the common perception um, about Mars. But Mars hasn't always been like that. Uh, Mars had a very dynamic ancient past with an active uh, geology and a thicker atmosphere and is believed to have supported uh, liquid water on its surface for a very long time. Uh, but today, um, it's the, uh, the reality is quite different. It's um, dry, cold surface and extremely low atmospheric pressure guarantees that no liquid water can exist on its surface for any considerable amount of time. And, and that's why it is thought to be a dead world because uh, life as we know it needs liquid water uh, to survive and thrive. Um, but Mars is not completely without water. Mars has a hidden treasure of huge amount of uh, water in the form of uh, polar ice caps, permafrost and subsurface glaciers. But it is all frozen and locked up uh, below its crust. And there is no current evidence of liquid water um, on or near its surface at present time. However, uh, uh, there is evidence of past uh, surface water on its surface in the form of uh, flow channels, uh, dry, dry flow channels in streams and lake beds. Um, with the advent of modern technology uh, and high availability, availability of high resolution imagery, uh, there has been um, evidence of fairly recent flows uh, which is subject to a lot of research and they um, and this evident from lack of impact craters in certain low lands and depressions which could be um, dry lake beds from fairly recent times and also relatively fresh and intact landscape erosion patterns especially on uh, certain sand dunes like for example in this picture this is a, a picture from Russell crater in the southern hemisphere with freshly carved gullies with sinuosities and um, and fresh erosion pattern then uh, there is existence of uh, these mysterious dark streaks on the slopes, which are believed to be, and these dark streaks are widespread on a large area of Mars, which are believed to be dry, um, mass, av dry mass avalanches, but few researchers consider them related to aqueous activity. And these, are, these dark streaks could hold the key to the discovery of liquid water on Mars. And this is what is mainly our presentation is all about. So um, we as a team of Marie Dynamics, we have been studying um, the satellite imagery of these dark streaks, uh, which are generally believed to be sand avalanches. But some of these dark streaks look nothing like solid material flows in their appearance, distribution and gradient. And a vast number of these dark streaks have a stark resemblance to the flows from mud volcanoes on Earth. Um, so for example, this is a, um, these are two pictures of the mud flows from a mud volcanoes on Earth and which have which are quite similar to uh, to the dark streak appearance of the dark streak on the surface of mars so first of all let's talk about what are mud volcanoes so these are these are type of mud, uh, of volcanoes which have uh, which are uh, called sedimentary volcanoes they are located next to the subduction zone and the proximity to oil and gas reserves and they spew mud of varying consistency mostly driven by methane pressure uh, as a result of uh, geothermal activity um, so we have been studying this vast area of uh, mud volcanoes uh, fields in Pakistan in the Hingol and Laspila uh, region of Balochistan province of Pakistan, which spans over 12,000 square kilometers and um, and has uh, 130 uh, over 130 mud volcanoes and vents uh, spewing cool mud and discharging methane bubbles. And if we consider it as a geologist paradise. Um, and vast majority of these mud volcanoes were undiscovered and uncatalogued until 2005 when we started studying the satellite imagery of this region um, on Google Earth and found out that there were a lot of flow patterns 
uh, which we, uh, we we which we help to uh, which which help us to find the location of vents uh, as um, according to their appearances, gradient, and length. And we use this information and data to uh, to plan expeditions um, to the most inaccessible places uh, in these locations using off-road vehicles and, and tracking and gather the wealth of uh, information and, and catalog the unmarked and uncharted um, and uncatalogued um, uh, mud volcanoes and vents. There's a couple of more accessible ones uh, in Chandra Group region. Um, these are beautiful conical uh, shield-like volcanoes. Um, they're completely made of, of dried mud and continuous lava. This is just one of the many dozens of volcanoes in that region. Uh, there are a few other pictures of how the mud flow uh, looks like from satellite imagery and how it changes in its form uh, and flows over a period of time. Um, so in the Hingul and Lasbila mud volcanic region, uh, the forces that drive this mud volcanism are the methane under pressure as a result of geothermal activity, uh, because this region is located next to the, or over the subduction zone of the Arabian, Eurasian and Indian plate that tra traverses through Pakistan. Now we then started noticing similarities of uh, these flow features to the dark streaks on Mars. Um, and the similarities we noted was in appearance, flow patterns, gradients, lengths and possible mechanism. Uh, we use the high resolution imagery from a Mars orbital camera and high rise satellites. Uh, there's a wealth of data available on the internet and Google Earth, which we utilize. Um, so, at Marine Dynamics, we uh, believe that possibly a similar mechanism might be going on on Mars. Um, since there is evidence of fairly recent volcanism on Mars, uh, and uh, there is also evidence of possible residual geothermal activity on Mars close to the surface. Um, so we believe that possible uh, this, uh, the, the pockets of geothermal activity might be causing the melting of uh, permafrost uh, of Mars in certain regions, which due to heat and pressure churning up with the fine regolith and as, uh, from pressure oozing out from the surface and, uh, and, and appearing like dark streaks on Mars um, and they, these could be mud flows. And this could be analogous to the mud volcanic activity in, uh, in the Balochistan region of Pakistan and other parts of the world. Um, if it is so, then it could lead to the discovery of liquid water on Mars on or near its surface and may have implications in search for evidence of uh, life on the red planet. Um, so <clears throat> these are a couple of uh, pictures of the dark flows. Uh, on the left side, uh, these, uh, these dark streaks look fairly featureless um, in low resolution imagery of, um, of Mars, but um, I'll see if I could find the pointer. Um, yeah. So these look quite uh, featureless in low in, uh, resolution images, but in high resolution images of the same region, it shows a bit more texture and flow pattern and a good bit more detail. Uh, this picture is from the Lycus Selkus uh, northwest of Olympus Mammons. And uh, this picture on the right is, uh, this is the picture of dark streaks on the slopes of, um, of uh, Olympus Mons, which have, uh, which look quite similar to the, to the mud flows in, um, in the Hingul and Daspila region of Pakistan. Um, so uh, a lot of researchers have studied these dark streaks and, 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 and gullies and suggest that they could be uh, um, uh, fluid flows. Uh, Ferris and Mangold have suggested that uh, the, the flow patterns such as dark streaks or um, uh, uh, narrow gullies, just the, the way that you saw in the sand dune picture, could be because of the uh, seasonal springs, brine flow or debris flow. And the reason for their, uh, their, their rationale is that these uh, flow patterns are, are found on very low slopes, less than 10 degrees as well, which goes against the solid um, flow theory. Um, and also they've noted some sinusoids and interconnecting branching channels and levees in these flows. However, uh, the possibility of ongoing mud flows as the mechanism of, uh, for these dark streaks and gullies hasn't been suggested yet. And this is where we are um, coming in. So uh, in the mud volcanic region of Pakistan, we have noted um, uh, levees and sinuosities in the mud flows from the mud volcanoes. Um, for example, in this picture, uh, this is a picture of, um, of a mud flow from the uh, from mud volcano, and you can see the levees and sinus sinuosities formation as well. So, uh, so the findings of Martian flow features um, pretty much in appearance match those of the mud flows in Pakistan. Um, and the mud flows on Earth in satellite imagery, they look dormant and dry in satellite imagery, but actually they're active on the ground um, um, if, if when looked up close. And some could be, the same could be happening on Mars too, uh, which leads us to believe that perhaps there could be an ongoing uh, mud volcano activity on the surface of Mars itself. Um, 
Now let's talk about a few patterns uh, of mud flow, uh, of a few fat patterns of flu uh, fluid flows on Mars, which all look different in different locations. So the narrow flow patterns and dark streaks could be due to um, active fluid flows. It could be spring discharges and um, and, and, um, and melting of permafrost. So various mechanisms of the possible fluid flows could be permafrost, um, which is mostly brine, which can remain liquid. Uh, up to a temperature of minus 25 degrees and can seep considerable distances under the under pressure and may emerge from slopes, dunes um, and, and cliff faces and may appear like um, like liquid flows. It is a possibility. Uh, but the flow patterns from the small mounds, uh, we believe that this could be a similar mechanism to the mud volcanism on Earth. Uh, for example, in this picture, you can see these uh, dark streets are coming out of, um, of a point source from these mounds. Um, now, the, there has been evidence of mud volcanism on Mars and there are many uh, places in which there are small conical mounds which are thought to be dead mud volcanoes in several locations. Uh, for example, this picture is from the floor of Valles Marineris and these uh, mounds are thought to be dead, um, dead mud volcanoes. Um, now, um, in, with the work of, uh, work of Dr. Peter Bros of Czech Academy of, Academy of Sciences is very significant in studying uh, certain flow patterns on Mars. So he carried out experiments uh, on mud flow dynamics in laboratory conditions simulating terrestrial versus Martian atmospheric pressure and temperatures and he simulated Martian conditions and uh, made the mud flow uh, in, the, in that chamber in a simulated environment and he was able to explain certain ancient lava flow features could be explained as ancient dry mud flows. Um, so background of our proposal is based on four major elements. First is that there has been evidence of possible aqueous active flows on Mars as per Sullivan, Ferris and Mangold. Um, number two is evidence, there is evidence of existence of dormant mud volcanoes and ancient mud flows on Mars as per Dr. Bros. Then there has been evidence of current residual geological activity on Mars as per Dome and also with the inside rover which has detected certain um, uh, Mars quakes. So there has been some geological activity there. And what we have noted, that's the fourth element, is we have noted morphological similarities of dark streaks on Mars to the mud flows from active mud volcanoes in Pakistan. So this Hussain is for basically both of us. <laughs> that's what doesn't really differentiate. Um, Marif Dynamics um, proposes that uh, many dark streaks on Mars could be active mud flows. And uh, giant Martian volcanoes, including uh, Olympus Mons, Tharsis Trio, Elysium Mons, could possibly be active mud volcanoes too. And, um, and we also propose to study mud volcanoes in Hingol and Lakpila region of Balochistan province of Pakistan as terrestrial analogues uh, for the possible active mud volcanoes on Mars. Um, so the implications of, of such a uh, finding, if found to be true, um, would, be, uh, would be that it is an interesting find um, uh, and may have imp uh, uh, interesting find and has, has implications in uh, finding similarities between terrestrial and martial, Martian geology and might help in uh, future human habitation on Mars. It may also help solve the conundrum of liquid water on Mars and, um, and reveal possibility of existence of huge uh, liquid water reservoirs. Uh, it may also help in solving the methane mystery of Mars, which intermittently spikes in the Martian atmosphere, uh, which may have something to do with, uh, with these mud flows, because we have seen uh, on Earth, we have seen uh, methane bubbling out of the source, from the source of the mud volcano. A mud, mud, mud volcanic flow and this could be the case on Mars itself. So this is a, it's an interesting area of uh, research. And it may have implications in search for life on Mars as future probes can be landed in the proximity of the source of these dark streaks and the samples can be extracted and, uh, and studied in situ uh, on the surface of Mars or may uh, help sample return missions to be analyzed on Earth. And, um, and instruments uh, for future probes and rovers on, for Mars can be calibrated for studying signs of life at the mud volcano sites in Pakistan. Um, now the question is, um, we also take it further by thinking that perhaps um, the large volcanoes on Mars could be active mud volcanoes too. So the largest um, group uh, is the Olympus Mons and Tharsis Trio, which are basically basaltic uh, volcanoes, but they are dead. Uh, and there has not been any current basaltic lava activity um, or flow on these volcanoes at present times. Uh, but these large volcanoes, including Olympus Mons and the volcanoes in Tharsis Trio, have uh, dark streaks along their flanks and cliff faces. For example, the picture on the right 
This is um, uh, a dark streak on the western flank of uh, Arcea uh, volcano, which is the southernmost um, uh, giant mud volcano. Oh, sorry, southernmost giant volcano uh, in the Tharsis group. So we have, we see these uh, features of flow uh, of of dark streaks on on the slope as per this picture, and there are many other um, uh, uh, pictures that we have seen in high resolution images. Um, so we, we think that there could be, uh, on Mars, there could be a shift from igneous to possible mud volcanism going on. Um, as there has been no evidence of current igneous volcanic activity on uh, in the volcanoes of Mars at the, at, at the present time, but um, there is a dark a presence of dark streaks that can be noted on the slopes of these volcanoes. And it is possible that these volcanoes may be currently active as mud volcanoes. And, um, and, and there, is a, there is a reason for us to believe this because um, even though Mars is um, uh, geo, um, the, the pockets of ge uh, geothermal activity may not be strong enough to drive igneous volcanism, but might still be active uh, uh, and strong enough to melt the permafrost and churn it with the fine regolith and uh, and make it ooze out of um, of the of or to the surface of Mars. Now we noticed a few similarities and some major differences between the volcanoes on Earth and Mars. Um, so there have been some morphological similarities with the with the giant, with the Martian volcanoes, with the Hingol and Laspila volcanoes, uh, as they are both in uh, as like a circular pancake shape with uh, caldera being depressed um, circular features as, as a result of collapse of the overlying um, uh, chambers. Um, the, the Martian volcanoes, however, are enormous in size, but that could be due to firstly um, they are formed against low gravity. On Mars, they are subject to less erosion. They are subject to uh, less or lack of tectonic movements, and they were formed billions of years ago. While the mud volcanoes zone in the Hingol region are only a few million years old and are subject to a lot of wind and water and erosion. So these large volcanoes um, uh, could be uh, venting out mud due to geothermal process and uh, driv driven by the basaltic lava chambers still present deep inside uh, inside the crust. So I'll just summarize the current understanding of mud volcanism on Mars that it is known uh, that mud volcanoes existed in on Mars in its ancient past and possibly even at present. Uh, Ferris, Mangold and Anderson and others proposed uh, ongoing aqueous flow activity um, on Mars. Dr. Peter Gross simulated Martian environment and studied mud uh, flows characteristics uh, that could explain ancient lava flows. Uh, Euler and Ellen... Ten, ten minutes. Thank you. Uh, studied thousands of circular mounds on Mars and suggested that they could be ancient mud volcanoes. Uh, Komatsu and others emphasize astrobiological uh, implications of the uh, mud volcanism on Mars. Um, and Dr. Baldwin supported the idea of exploration of mud mounds for their astrobiological potential. And uh, most scientists acknowledge mud volcanism on Mars uh, in the mud mounds in plain regions, but we propose that it may not be limited to the mounds in plain, plain region, but the giant volcanoes may be active as uh, active mud volcanoes in present times. Um, so while, while it is believed that mud volcanoes exist on Mars, our hypothesis is that these dark streaks on Mars uh, being active mud flows analogous to the mud flows in Pakistan could be the last piece of puzzle, not only in the conundrum of mud volcanism on Mars, but also to the question of the presence of liquid water on its surface. So there are just uh, two pictures here. One is uh, a picture of the up close picture of the dark streak on the slope of Olympus Mons on Mars. And the right one is, um, is a mud flow feature coming out of a mud volcano in the Hingol, and, uh, Hingol region of Pakistan. Uh, we just um, got this picture to draw a bit of a similarity in only in morphological appearance. Um, so our conclusion, um, based on our observation, we suggest uh, to the world that the dark streaks on Mars could possibly be mud flows from active mud volcanic phenomena going on on Mars. We also suggest that uh, large volcanoes on Mars could be active mud volcanoes at the present time. This is just to summarize our what, what conclusion we have drawn. Um, Marif Dynamics invites international teams of astrobiologists and researchers to avail the opportunity of, of pioneer work at these pristine mud volcano sites in Pakistan as terrestrial analogues of dark streaks on Mars. Uh, we offer our help in arranging logistical support uh, with local off-road expedition clubs uh, for interested researchers. Just a picture from 
uh, our expeditions to these uh, terrains and we got a few off road clubs which who frequently visit these mud volcanic sites um, and study the mud volcanoes however we don't have the the high end scientific gear to study any signs of, of life in these um, in these mud vents but hopefully someday we'll have enough uh, resources to study them scientifically in a in a more substantial way and that's where we need help from uh, the um, uh, the astrobiologists from around the world who may be interested in studying these sites and time in future uh, to find something interesting and un un and undiscovered yet just a few references and i think i'll end my presentation at this point so i'll stop this here so I'll welcome questions from the participants, please. And I'll let Mehdi to join in the Q&A section as well, because he's the principal investigator of these mud volcano sites in Pakistan. Yes, post welcome. So while uh, the questions uh, may come up, uh, just one interesting fact about these mud volcanoes on Earth that we have found in, uh, in uh, the Hingol region of Pakistan is uh, that uh, the landscape here is uh, devoid of life here as well. I mean, uh, the terrain on which these mud volcanoes uh, lie uh, don't uh, get much uh, precipitation uh, either, and uh, you don't find much vegetation. So the landscape actually looks like, pretty much look like uh, you are on Mars. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, if uh, the, this analogy is uh, correct, uh, that there is mud volcanism on Mars as we see the dark streaks on, on the surface through the satellite images, uh, I'm sure the experience would uh, look exactly the same on Mars as well. So there's a lot of study that we can do by, uh, you know, uh, visiting these uh, mud volcanoes uh, here on Earth uh, in Pakistan. Uh, to to you know uh, do a lot of research that uh, might be close enough uh, to the same on Mars. Uh, so that is uh, uh, so, uh, one thing uh, we think that uh, scientists from all over the all over the world uh, who wants to study maybe the origins of uh, you know or uh, possibilities of life on Mars can actually do study by coming to these mud volcanic fields. Here and of course we can facilitate the marine dynamics team. Here can facilitate that. Uh, there's a question here uh, by Frank. Thank you, Frank, for asking this question uh, about um, whether the the mud running mud may hold water for longer. I think this is plausible. Now I'm not sure about whether if it is true or not, but we have noted that um, the mud volcan volcanic fields in Pakistan, which are located in very dry and hot region, uh, the mud flows stay quite warm, sorry, stay quite wet uh, for a substantial period of time. And I'm, I believe that if you just leave water or wet sand there, that will dry out much quickly because, uh, but the, the, these mud flow remain liquid for a very long time because maybe because of the mixing of water and brine uh, with the clay might form um, a protective layer on the surface of the, um, of the flow while the inside might still be flowing. So that could be one reason why these flows uh, can reach uh, considerable distances. Uh, actually, in Dr. P uh, Dr. Peter Brose's experiment, he also um, uh, found that um, uh, the, the flows in the Martian simulated environment uh, uh, flow continue to flow for quite some time because, again, uh, the surface uh, freezes out, but the insides continue to flow, and this this process might be might be true for the for the uh, mud flows on Earth as well because we have found that these are. Um, these are very low viscosity flows which uh, which flow like without any resistance on a smooth surface and even on a flat surface they they flow considerable distance we have uh, actually seen this uh, mud which is not uh, in, in huge quantity but uh, keeps flowing uh, for very large distances from their source uh, i mean they can uh, flow up to a distance of few you know hundred hundreds of meters um, uh, to up to you know kilometer uh, from from its source uh, without uh, drying out. So we uh, assume that you know when it mixes with the with the with fine clay and sand, and uh, it's it's salty nature uh, because a lot of minerals are also you know uh, dissolved in that. Uh, they evaporate uh, or dry out uh, you know very slowly. 
so we believe that though there is uh, a, a lot of you know uh, is, uh, the atmospheric pressure on mars is very low uh, we assume you know that uh, even because of uh, uh, this you know uh, pollution with the with the uh, clay and uh, salts uh, it might uh, not dry out that quickly even if there is you know a uh, very low pressure on the surface of mars now there is one more question from uh, frank that the the dark streaks on mars they seem to be flowing from being yeah. narrow to wide Two minutes. Which, which may be true for the solid avalanches but what we have noted that oh, we have studied like 70000 images uh, of these dark streaks on mars and we have noted that uh, not all not all streaks are similar so some of the streaks may look like uh, like fanning out pattern of a solid flow but a few of the dark streaks rather i would say majority of the dark streaks in high resolution images they actually show synosities and and a flow pattern similar to uh, to a liquid flow including making their way around obstacles and they do uh, narrow down and end up in uh, in a narrow um, a lobular sort of a structure at the uh, at the front end which that actually made us believe that perhaps the, these dark streaks they're not all similar and many of the dark streaks could be um, to be flow features uh, liquid flow features and could be mud volcanism going on on mars well we're down to our last minute if there's no more questions do we want to wrap this up so people can move on to the next session sure thing uh, sure. so uh, we'll thank the mars society for helping us and uh, uh, giving us opportunity to share our work and i think mehdi has something to say as well oh thank you so much uh, it was a great opportunity i'm sure that you know it will uh, open up uh, new um, you know horizons for humanity thank you thank you so much for everyone and thank both of you for your presentation and i on behalf of the mars society thank everyone for showing up uh, enjoy the rest of the convention thank you see you bye bye thank you have a good day bye, bye.